This is a drone I built driving around like a tank while I'm inside driving it with an FPV simulator chair. This drone, which transforms from a tank into a quadcopter, as well as the custom FPV chair were all built in previous videos. But today we're gonna make a couple modifications and bring them together, which should be really epic. All right, I wanna fly my drone. The only issue is it's December. And where I live, that means it's cold and wet. I mean, look at this, it's even snowing right now. I mean, I don't think the tank will have any problems. It is a tank, but I don't wanna be out here, it's cold. So my idea is I'm gonna use this, my FPV simulator chair, to drive and fly the tank quadcopter outside while I'm inside out of the snow. The uh, getting into this chair and getting out of this chair might need to be improved. Now, before we can just hook everything up and use this though, there's a couple upgrades we need to make. The first upgrade to the chair is actually replacing the controls. Previously, I made my own controls, which is really cool and a really good exercise in electronics. But these USB controls have way more buttons and a lot more features that we can use. To install these, I ripped out a bunch of the wiring and cut out sections of the armrest to make room for the new controls. When making modifications like this, it's always useful to refer back to the original CAD design, which is in Onshape. Visualizing a design change like this in CAD first is really useful. It's helped me prevent some really dumb measuring mistakes, which I make all too often. After slicing and dicing some of these sections out of the armrest, new wood planks get installed to support the new controls. I'm using some Logitech controls, which I got on sale and were fairly reasonably priced compared to some of the other options out there. Flight simulator controls is a whole rabbit hole you can go down, but these seemed like the best bang for the buck. The second modification is actually to the transformer drone, and all I need to do is add FPV. I'm using the DJI 03 system because it has really high resolution video, and it's great for making videos like this. But an analog system would also work for this, and it'd be a lot cheaper. With the modifications done, the USB controls can get plugged into the chair, and we should be ready to go. All right, here's the moment of truth. I'm gonna plug these batteries in and everything should connect. <laughs> waiting, waiting. There we go. We got video. Look at that, it's like a mirror. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm gonna go post it outside and we'll see if this whole setup even works. Going outside. I'm also not sure how much of this stuff is actually waterproof and it is snowing. So hopefully nothing breaks. All right, we should be able to explore now. I'll push the stick forward. Oh, yes. This is crazy. We're actually driving around my backyard. It feels like we're in a video game now. Now I left this gate open over here. So let's see if we can drive through that. Oh yeah. <laughs> Can't believe this is working. Yes, now we got a little more room out here. <laughs> this is so awesome. I can't explain to you how much this feels like you're playing a video game, but you're literally just in your own backyard. This is amazing. Oh yeah, oh we're going a little faster now. Yes. <laughs> All right, back through the gate. Oh, oh, we hit that at high speed. This is so awesome. <laughs> I hope the video does this justice, because this, <sighs> boom, and we're back. All right, let's go check out the tank. Make sure it's all in good condition still. There it is. Dude, not a scratch on it. Everything looks good. Now, it is definitely getting a lot of sleet in the wheels, which is probably not good, but they still roll, so it should still work. All right, now the real question is, can we fly with this thing? This tank can transform into a quadcopter, which is already hard enough to fly with just an RC transmitter. So this might be impossible. All right, first off, we'll drive out to the part of the yard where we have a little more space. I hope we're not accumulating a bunch of ice on the tracks. That could give an off balance that, uh, May make this thing not fly. Going into the middle of the yard here. Okay, now in theory, I should be able to hit this button. All right, and then we should be able to transition into flying mode by hitting this button. All right. <laughs> and then if I throttle up, Whoa, whoa, oh, oh, oh. 
I'm upside down. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go save it. It's wet out there. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's all the way upside down. Oh, it's a mess. It's a mess. Oh, there's ice and grass everywhere. Everything's wet. The electronics are absolutely soaked. Oh no. All right, got it inside now. And there is just so much ice. I'm just gonna let it sit here in this towel and hopefully it all melts and dries off. I ended up using some compressed air to get the rest of the dirt off. And surprisingly, this thing actually looked pretty good. All right, we got this thing dried off. Only issue is it's now dark outside. So to fix that, I'm gonna use a flashlight as a headlight. Zip tie this right onto here. Now we can drive anywhere, any time of day. Nice. All right, turn the headlights on. Oh yeah. Now, let's get into the chair here. Ugh. This is crazy. <laughs> if you ever played Slenderman back in the day, that's exactly what this looks like. All right, let's go explore in the dark. Here we go. <laughs> this is nuts. Honestly, this is way cooler than driving around in the middle of the day. You can just see what the flashlight illuminates here and oh. <laughs> it's so funny. Maybe I should, maybe I should put bigger headlights on this. All right, going through the gates. Oh, we made it. Nice. We're now in the side yard. <laughs> this is so crazy. I'm hoping none of my neighbors see this and call the cops. That'd be, uh, this might be a difficult one to explain. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go to the front yard now. <laughs> oh, driving through the weeds. Everyone needs to experience this. If you like RC stuff or, you know, any sort of driving RC cars, flying RC planes, this is actually a dream come true. This is so cool. FPV on the ground like this is actually fairly limited because your signal drops out really fast as you go a long distance. But if you hook it up to like a cell signal or something like that, you could go for a long time. Or what would be even cooler is a boat, like on a lake. You could drive forever. All right, well, I might just keep doing this for the rest of the night. This is too much fun. And the awesome thing is that this thing actually pulls very little current while it's driving, which means you can drive forever. Uh, you know, you're not gonna be as battery limited as a quadcopter where you're constantly pulling a lot of amperage just to stay in the air. So this is a much more efficient way of getting around than flying a normal quadcopter. And we're back. After I got done filming this, I probably drove this thing around for another hour, as well as let some other people try it out, just because this thing is so much fun. I can't express enough how much this feels like a video game, but it's literally just your backyard. Let me know what you guys think I should sync up to this chair next. Since this whole system just uses a normal RC transmitter, it can basically be used to control anything. I've been making some modifications to this chair's design to make it easier for others to replicate, including getting some PCBs made to simplify the wiring and incorporating the USB-based controls. In my next video on this chair, I'm gonna show you how you can make this chair yourself. So definitely subscribe for that, and I'll see you guys in the next video.